All right, everybody, it's been about a month since my last video, so I'm just going to film a quick one here. I'll let you know what's going on. A overwintering process has begun, trimming, harvesting, uh, getting rid of the pepper plants that I'm not going to be keeping and that are tapped of their chilies. So here's a panoramic of what I have left. I got the lights going just for four hours here in the evenings. It was days for a while, but it, and I did when I had all 31 plants still, I had them all hanging on this side too. So there, you can see the eye screw right there and that one right there. There were lights hanging from those, but down to these last 20 here. So I was able to condense them once they've been pruned up all into one area, fairly small in size. So let's make the rounds and see what ones I got left here. Um, there is the Carmen Sweet and the Ancient Sweet. Those are both coming through the winter. Uh, there's the Yellow Fatale, which I showed in one of my uh, videos that I filmed tonight for the test for that. With which I'm going to be uploading a bit after this because I'm only I got six more filmed after that before or before that that I have to upload anyway uh, that's coming through the winter uh, there's the purple jalapeno also being over winter padrone divested of pods completely so it's trimmed up I'm going to keep a good amount of foliage on it I need to take my vacuum to these plants and get rid of the aphids. I've been having a definite problem with those this year. They haven't caused extensive damage to the plants, but some of the plants, like that Burgess Lakoto back there, um, the Orange Manzano here was the original culprit. It was definitely uh, loved by the aphids, and that's why it's separated right now. I need to vacuum all those off of that. I sprayed it down. If you can see the glossy leaves with a vegetable oil dish soap solution. Um, so that hasn't reached epidemic proportions, but some of the plants in particular are more prone. They're more aphid friendly, I guess. So there's my yellow orange bird pepper all trimmed up right here. And that's going to come through again in another year. I'm going to see how long I can keep that one going for. Kind of have a, kind of a novelty, I guess, to see how long I can keep it going for. Speaking of aphids, look at all these little fuckers. Oh, I need to do something about that. But, and then there's the Burgett's Lakoto also coming through the winter. So I have eight that I'm bringing through the winter this year. I decided to drastically decrease. Because um, I got so many varieties left to try. I wanna, don't want to overwhelm myself. And... Brazilian starfish, which has some nice peppers on it, actually. They're, they don't get very big. This is about this is the biggest I've seen. But they are pretty damn hot. I've eaten a couple before they're even ripe, and they already got a good zip of heat to them. So, looking forward to trying a ripe one. Ahi pineapple. Got a good amount of pods left on it. I got a few ripe ones off it so far, that I, one of which I have set aside for testing purposes. I'm going to get a lot of those filmed all at once and then just wait a while and upload them all. Uh -oh. And Tabasco. Doesn't have very many on it. I'm going to let them go. Uh, Thai bird's eye. Uh, giant Marconi, which has still has some good pods left on it. They're starting to ripen. The biggest one that was in the videos was like a banana shaped one, probably thicker than a banana. Uh, that was going into a freezer bag. My, my neighbor, uh, he actually was in the video that I filmed for the Fatali testing it with me. You'll see that and probably in a couple weeks, three weeks maybe. Uh, put that, we're going to make a batch of chili with one of each of every one that I grew this year. Some of them aren't ripe, like the Manzano. I picked one off that's like cherry sized, but that'll have to be good enough. Uh, here's the Chero Recife. This is what they look like when they're ripe. They're an orange color. And they're pretty damn hot. California Wonder Bell. This one is great drought resistance. Uh, a lot of my sweet pepper plants, they got the peppers get really spongy when they don't get watered inside. Indoors like this, they've been getting really bad. Like the Marconi, a little bit, a few spongy peppers on those. 
The ancient suite and the Carmen have also held up well too, so I, maybe just the bells and somewhat allied varieties, but here's the chocolate bell. That's another one that's really spongy. You can see the wrinkled skin. Uh, the Tasmanian reds are another one that's, they, they get really spongy. Oh, you starting to ripen. I got a lot of ripe ones waiting to try. Peter pepper is also starting to ripen. I'm looking forward to seeing how hot those get when they're fully ripe. Got a lot of them that are getting there. Poblano's looking good. This one is starting to ripen. Starting to get a tiny bit more of a reddish brown hue to it. It's hard to tell in this light, but... So yeah, that's what's going on with everything. Oh, here's a Manzano pepper. There's a look at a few of those aphids. And a few more. Yeah, they're pretty bad on that plant. Oh, I even got one on my hand. Yeah, so that's all I got going on this month. Not much to report. Next time, uh, might be about a month from now. See how everything's coming along. Well, bye-bye. Thanks for tuning in.